Uh, in this video, we're going to look at how to create a histogram in uh, Excel. I'm using some data here. You can see the reference at the bottom. Uh, and um, this is quality control data. As you can see, it's five measurements a day. Uh, each row represents a day at various times. Uh, now, the first thing we have to do when we're creating a histogram is we need a set of data bins, they call them. Uh, that's a standard term. Uh, and the number of bins that you use is kind of arbitrary. The, uh, Excel, if it um, does it all by itself, chooses the square root of the number of observations. And here we have 25 times 5. Um, so 125 observations, the square root of that is just over 11. Um, I'm going to choose a larger number than that. You can choose as uh, many as you want. Your uh, range for the bins is another choice. Uh, and the number, the range ought to go from the smallest to the largest of your data. So the first thing I'm going to do is um, determine the biggest and the smallest values in there. So uh, the smallest one, so the minimum is uh, is e well, let's <coughs> make that a little nicer, uh, is equal to, and I'm going to left, uh, left justify that, I mean right justify it, and so that this is equal to min, uh, open in parentheses, highlight all the data, and close parentheses, the minimum of value is 12, uh, max equals and do the same thing here, equals x, open parentheses, highlight all the data, and we get 14.6. Uh, so I want to start the bins at 12, so let's start them over here at 12, and uh, let's, so, uh, if we were to do the square root, it'd be 14 uh, points, and we're going to figure out the, the um, uh, excuse me, if we wanted to figure out the bin width, so we're going to increment, we're going to create a set of bins that are successively larger than the first one, uh, and we want those to all be equal widths. Um, so in this case, we create either 12 or 11 or 12. Um, and the way we do this is to subtract the smaller from the larger and divide by the number of bins. So 14.6 minus 12 is 2.6. Um, and uh, actually, uh, I'm going to use 13 bins because the numbers are easy. Uh, 2.6 divided by 0.2 is 13. So I'm going to... Um, type equals this, well, let's do it the other way, 12.2. Um, and I highlight both of these, and I drag this down um, to 14.6. So there I have a set of bins. I'm going to make the, um, uh, put the decimal points in all of them. I have 13 bins, and so we'll create the histogram with that. Now, the way to do this is to um, go to data, and uh, it is perhaps the case that um, we need to have um, the add-in set up for um, our data analysis. So what you do is go to Excel options, go to add-ins, go to uh, manage Excel add-ins. I haven't set mine here. I want the analysis tool pack, so we click OK and click OK. And now when I'm on the data tab, you can see the data analysis uh, tool pack or data analysis tools here. So you click on that and it brings up this box. Uh, and it says data analysis and the analysis tools. So we're doing histogram. It's not a surprise. We'll choose histogram. You click OK. And the input range is the set of data points. And so if you click in that 
cell, then you can highlight the entire range and then you click in the bin range and you highlight the set of bins. So there's my set of bins and I want to create a new worksheet um, and I would like chart output. So I click OK and it creates a new sheet here for me as you can see on the bottom and it creates a chart with a with a histogram and you can see the relative frequency of each one of the um, uh, for each one of the bins and you can see that um, that might not be normally distributed but it isn't too far away and there's of course some tests we could do to prove that but um, um, that's how you create a histogram